If you're struggling in the business world or simply want to know how to make more money and do it the right way, today's video is for you. How does God instruct us to make a parnasa? We have to go and make our hishtadlut, our effort. Now pay attention because this is very informative. Hishtadlut is two things as the Shara Bitachon writes. Number one, keeping busy all day so we won't sin. Number two, Hashem is testing us to see are you on team Hashem or are you on team I'm the one making the money. Ramban writes that a person who thinks that he's the one making money is a fool. Money in Hebrew is zuzi, meaning the money is constantly running from this person to that person because Hashem wants to see. If I give Reuven $100 and Shimon $100 and Shimon doesn't use the money the right way, next time I'm going to give Reuven $150 and Shimon $50. If a person understands that Hishtadlut means when you go on a meeting and there's a girl that wants to shake your hand, you say, no, I don't shake hands with women. These are my values. When they eat non-kosher food, you say, I don't eat non-kosher food. These are my values. There's immodest women throughout your day and you're working. You have to guard your eyes. When there's a mincha or a mirev you have to catch, you have to work Hashem around the schedule. The priority of every single day is to come closer to Hashem. Shara Bitochon writes, when a person passes these two tests of Ishtadlu, of effort, says that they're going to make everything they're meant to make without even having to work hard. Where do I know all this information from, you might ask? Living in Munah on Parnasa. Sefer goes through two or three pages of sources from the Torah, inspirational stories. You can learn it on Shabbat with the Chavruta. If you want to know more about making a Parnasa, I highly recommend you get this book because this book is all entailing. Another fascinating idea on making Parnasa is to get married. Maran Bava Mitziah that says that when the person gets married, the woman becomes the keli, the vessel, all the blessing in life, specifically parnasa. How to make money according to God is not to go work hard and to stress yourself, it's to make your wife the queen. The person exerts his effort to make his woman the happiest woman in the world, he is gonna have a lot of money. That's how we have to look at it. Everything in this world is a test, and all the fear and the worry. Worry in Hebrew is da'aga, the first five letters of the Hebrew alphabet except the bet, because the bet is the bitachon. When you eliminate the worry and put your trust in Hashem are showing him that you trust him. It also writes that when a person before he goes to work he puts in his mind I'm going to exert my hishtadlu today and if I don't make a dollar I don't close one deal I'm doing my hishtadlu for Hashem to make a living. You're getting a mitzvah from the Torah. Many people go to work and do not have this intention in their mind and they're not getting a mitzvah. What you have to do is wake up in the morning is tell yourself I am going today to do my part to make a parnasa and even if you fail the rest of your life chas v'shalom getting a mitzvah from the Torah and earning yourself a very lofty share in Olam Abba. There's one mitzvah in the Torah that Hashem says, test me with. And that is the mitzvah of giving master 10% of your income to charity. When a person is going through a hard time in business and they say, Hashem, I'm only am I going to give 10%, doubling my donations because I'm showing you that I trust you. Making money is not about the outcome. It's just showing Hashem on a day-to-day -day basis whether you make or you don't make, whether you succeed or you fail, you are doing your best and you're trusting that Hashem runs the world. If He wants to make you a millionaire, He can do it overnight without the constant study of Torah, a person will never know any of this information. If you're in the business world, I highly suggest you get this book. You can literally take it out for five minutes a day, learn a little bit of Torah, and you're going to get massive amounts of chizuk. Bless everyone. They should have a very successful time in the business world and should make a lot of money. If you are looking for a good cause to donate to, you can donate to me and to my content creation. Everyone who sends a donation comes partner with me in all of the kiruv, all the chesed, all all the mitzvah that comes out of this platform. My zeal is I want what you want Hashem at gmail.com. Organization is named Hashem Loves You Inc. This money goes not only to content creation, but to helping families around the world if they need food for Shabbat, to helping communities if they need certain sfarim or tzitzi. I am working tirelessly and endlessly to make this world a better place. So if you want to start to give master now, you can give it to me. We should open up our hearts to give tons of charity. When a poor person reaches out his hand to you, you're creating Hashem's name. Take the money. You wrap it up like this so it should be new. people shouldn't see. That is representing a yud. Put it into your hand. K. Poor person's hand reaching out. Vav. Five fingers. K. Yud. K. Vav. K. Indeed, when there's opportunities to give charity, you are creating Hashem's name. You are not giving Him charity. That poor person is giving you an opportunity to strengthen your relationship with Hashem, make more money, and to come closer to Him. So I bless all of us that we should